I would talk about a small side project I'm working on from time to time, um, which is called Include. It's a cute library archive. And I will tell you now what it is, um, where we are coming from, where we are going, and what that means to you. My name is Cornelius Schumacher. Um, my email is schumacher at kd.org. You can reach me there. My Twitter handle is cschum, or however you would pronounce that in your favorite language. So in the beginning, there was Qt. Um, and we all know Qt is the same choice if you write user interfaces of uh, whatever flavor. And Qt is a great library. It contains a lot of stuff. So we heard that this morning from Lars what they are planning to put into that for the next version. So there already is a lot of um, functionality provided by Qt. But still, Qt is not perfect. It doesn't include everything, and that's probably a good thing. Unfortunately, there are many and many other people who have written libraries based on Qt, uh, which provides additional functionality. So if you are looking for something to, to write um, an application and need some more fancy graphics um, capabilities or some OAuth authentication or some um, network protocol implementation, there probably is a library around uh, which can be used for that. But it's not always easy to find that. So. If I uh, Google for cute libraries, I will find more than 8 million hits. So obviously, that's not a very useful tool to, to get these libraries. So two years ago, a group of KDE people um, went to a meeting in the Swiss mountains to hack on some software. And they came up with the idea to do something about that. And the basic idea is that we wanted to create one curated archive of all cute libraries which are out there. So that as an application developer, you have one place to find them. And as a library developer, you have a central place where you can publish that. So one place where everything goes together, collecting all the nice, wonderful, cute libraries which are out there. So <clears throat> we came up with a fancy name. And as KDE people are known for their fancy way of misspelling things, of course, we misspelled this as include with a Q, easy to remember. The concept we came up basically uh, consisted of uh, three parts. So the first one is to create a format to, for describing libraries, to have a structured way how to uh, collect the metadata for these libraries so that you can actually work with that, not only as a human, but also for um, integration with tooling and so on. And the second thing was to provide actual tooling around that. So you have some tools where you can uh, process the metadata. You can search for uh, specific aspects. You can filter. You can create other representations of this data. And whatever you want to do with that for integration with other tools, um, to create some tooling which provides that. And the third thing, of course, to create a website where everybody can just go, this one place where you can <laughs> find all cute libraries, where you can publish your libraries. and um, yeah, have this archive at a central place, which is include.org. So this is actually um, there now. So I'm telling you what is the current state of um, include, where we are with that archive. And we have actually a format. So you don't have to read that in detail. We settled on, on a simple JSON format. So that, that's a format which now also Qt can uh, process natively. And this is containing all the metadata, so the name of the library, the release date, um, the, the released version, uh, some information about the license, about the um, maturity. So is that a stable library? Is that a development version? Is that a test version? Um, the available platforms. And uh, pretty important, uh, what packages are available. So the source packages, they should always be there, but also binary packages. So we can integrate that with native packaging systems. And that's the intention behind that, to provide the structured format so we can integrate that with other systems as well. And we have some tooling. At the moment, we have a command line tool, which is called include. Uh, and it co contains a number of functions to uh, list libraries, to show libraries, to install them, to remove them. And it makes use of the native packaging system if it's there. So that's a simple way how to get that. So that's command line. Of course, we would also have, would like to have a nice UI for that. We are not there yet. And we also would have like to have integration with, for example, Qt Creator and so on. The website is also there. That's the um, actual website running on include.org. So we have the list of libraries. We have separated them now between stable and libraries and development <laughs> versions. Um, there's a Google-powered search. 
And each library has a page where you can see all the data. There's some function to discuss, uh, to the discuss um, uh, the library, so add commands to, to vote it. But that's and all the links to, to download it to get to additional information. So that's a central place, a one page for each library where you can see everything you need to know and where to get it and how to get it. It's running on include. Please remember that. And talking about technology a little bit, because you are technical guys, um, at the moment this is more or less a random set of technology we used because it was most convenient. We have the central JSON format, we have some Ruby tools to process all the data, to create the website, to, to pass the, the manifest, so we call the, the metadata. Uh, and that basically the website is static HTML with some CSS um, integrated with um, some services, Google and Discuss, <clears throat> to provide search and discussions, uh, which are simple to set up. So not a lot of effort. Um, and of course, uh, we want to integrate that also with uh, Qt-based tools. The stuff is hosted in a Git repository, so that's where it's easy to access and where you can just go provide a patch for your new libraries or find what, what is already there. Important to notice that this is an open project, so all the infrastructure is free software. You can find it on GitHub and the KDE repositories. You can download it, you can modify it, you can do whatever you want to that. It's also meant as an open platform, so it shouldn't be limited to specific libraries or make some libraries more prominent than others, but it's meant to be open for everybody, so it's a common place. Um, no matter where you're coming from, um, you, you, you can put your libraries up there. And it's run by your friendly neighbor, the KDE community. So we obviously have a stake in uh, writing cute libraries, um, and this is useful for others as well. So <clears throat> we consider ourselves as part of the cute community, um, and we are happy to yeah, do that to get all these libraries better known and more accessible. So my goal for this week is to get all relevant libraries on include. Um, I already have quite a big of, uh, collection. Uh, but still, I'm always surprised what is out there. So people tell me, okay, there's this library. Have you heard about that library? And I'm trying, trying to collect them all. So by end of the, this week, it's a little bit aggressive, but I think that's, that's a good goal. And if you want to help, if you release libraries, if you know about libraries, if you use libraries, please talk to me. I'm here. Write an email to the include uh, at kde.org mailing list. So that's a central place where we can uh, discuss also how, how the, the thing is running. If you want to contribute, you can provide patches. The code is available. As I said, it's all free software. It's all open. It's all available. And remember this year. <laughs> So that's all I wanted to tell you. My name still is Cornelius Schumacher, and as we have this nice little competition, please vote for me. <laughs>